Just down the street, Daimi says her husband, Pepe, was on the same boat, trying to go to the U.S. to better provide for his family. She says she doesn't know what to tell his teenage daughter. She says nothing happened to her father. Daimi says that her father has to be alive somewhere, but where? We can't take it anymore. We are desperate. Cuba has been hit hard by the impacts of the coronavirus and increased U.S. sanctions under the Trump administration. Tough economic conditions in the past led to waves of Cubans fleeing the island by boat. It's nearly impossible to leave Cuba legally these days. COVID and still unexplained health incidents among U.S. diplomats here caused the U.S. to stop issuing visas at the embassy in Havana. The State Department report says as of November, there were more than 78,000 Cubans on a waiting list for immigrant visas. Cubans are unable to receive visas at the U.S. Embassy here, and the pandemic has shut down most international flights to and from this island. For many Cubans desperate to leave, now the dangerous journey by boat is their only option.